here I am, and now I go again. Here I am, and now I go again. And this is all thanks to polarization. I'm standing behind a glass door. The reason you can't see me just now is because the light from me, which is unpolarized, is completely dominated by the light that's reflected off the glass door, which is polarized. However, by using a polarizing filter to discriminate to get rid of this polarized light, hey presto, you can see me. Similar techniques are being used by astrophysicists as well, and not only for visible light. We are a group of scientists headed by Tony Dean from the University of Southampton, and we work together since several years with the Instituto di Astrofisica Spaziale di Bologna and the Instituto di Astrofisica Spaziale di Roma, both belonging to INAF. You have seen uh, these uh, young scientists appearing and disappearing from uh, uh, behind the glass just because the light you have seen was polarized, so was able to go through the video camera in one occasion and not in the other one. We have used the same mechanism, the same physical principle, to study in detail the emission process from this nebula and, and pulsar, from the Crab Nebula and pulsar, and in particular we have discovered that the photons, the gamma ray photons emitted by this object were perfectly aligned with the rotation axis of the pulsar. So, so there is a mechanism that, uh, that forces the photons to be emitted all in the same direction.